Welcome to how to set a pressure switch video uh, by AirLogic. So here I'm going to show you how to connect and set your pressure switch. First things first, we're going to take off two covers. The first is the cover that protects the terminals. And then the second one is the cover that protects the adjustment screw. So take that off here. So now we can access the, the flathead screwdriver and the terminals. You're always going to have a common terminal, a normally open and a normally closed circuit on these pressure switches. So this is uh, the AirLogix assembly fixture uh, that we use to um, just connect to our pressure switches uh, quickly and easily. Your setup might look differently. This is a manifold mount pressure switch, so this is meant to go into a hole. It's got an O-ring on there into like a manifold uh, on somebody's device. You could also have a pipe thread or a, or a flush mount cover, but uh, they all work the same. But the pressure signal is coming from the bottom on this one. So we're going to connect that. As soon as it's connected, you can see we got the red light. That's going to indicate that the normally closed circuit um, has continuity. So it's going through the, from the common terminal through the normally closed terminal, you get the red light. And then when we turn on the pressure, screw this up for a little bit. And turn the pressure up. And after we hit the set point, the terminals flip. Uh, and you get continuity through the normally open circuit, and then you get the green light on this fixture. So if I just go back and forth between the on and the off pressure, you can see that those um, will continue working at that same set point. So then let's say we want to adjust the set point here on this switch. I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver, I'm going to turn clockwise, and that's going to raise the set point. So take a big, big change here. Now we're going to be up at about 50 PSI here. Oh, maybe a little bit lower than 50. So that was turning it clockwise to raise uh, the set point on the pressure switch. Now let's go the opposite way. We'll turn it counterclockwise. Drop that pressure back down. See, now we're back down here at 32 PSI. So that's the basics of just um, how to adjust the, the pressure switch set point. Importantly, the difference between the on and the off pressure, you can call the differential or you can call the hysteresis of the switch. Uh, that's important in your application uh, to know what the difference there, there is. So if you're controlling a pump, for, for instance, and you want to know when that pump is going to turn on and when it's going to turn off, that is the, the the differential is going to tell you that right so here again we're on a 32 you know stay on until in this case 28 so that'd be a four psi differential a difference between 32 and 28 there if you'd like us to preset these at the factory we can do that for you um, just let us know uh, when you go to purchase some we can give you a custom part number that'll let us know that you want a preset switch uh, so if you're like a factory or a uh, product or a factory OEM application and you always want these pressure switches to be set at the same spot, um, we can do that for you here at the factory. So uh, thanks for checking us out. Let me know if you've got any questions.